Hello everyone, Indie Voice here, working in collaboration with Indie Gems, looking at a inspiring game that gives a lot of nostalgia for the Metroid series and Hollow Knight with its specific mechanics. Today we're looking at Rebel Transmute. As I mentioned in the beginning, the game reminds me of old Metroid for the NES, the Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance, and with the upgrades and environments, followed by the mechanics from Hollow Knight. There's a lot of going back and forth throughout the game as much in Metroidvanias, having a small side quest to help the robots throughout the planet, collecting power-ups, upgrades, and facing various bosses and enemies. One aspect that might intrigue players is the game's increasing complexity. When the game does not provide clear directions to the objective, even when it is marked on the map, it can be a bit challenging to figure out what the next move is or what direction I'm supposed to go to reach my objective. The mechanics too pose a bit of a difficulty requiring careful execution and strategy, especially when dealing with formidable bosses and trying to get through the entire environment. It is a bit strenuous trying to do this constantly. Also to add is the main gun feels a bit not as powerful as you would think. If you played Metroid before, you know the original, the only bare minimum gun that you get is at least useful. While in this one, it feels like it's barely used. It seems to shoot very short and it only gets a decent upgrade when you find it and it allows you to shoot farther. But overall, even with all of its negatives and some complexity here and there, it was a very fun experience going through the interesting environments listening to the story and a lot of other things that was really good about this game, but it really is downing when it comes to the certain weapons that you start with in the beginning and trying to figure out where you're supposed to go in this vast planet. For the story of Rebel Transmute, battle your way through a living planet in Rebel Transmute, a sprawling 2D action exploration epic game. You embody Moon Meccano as you explore and reprogram your abilities, dual twisted sci-fi experiments, and rebel against colonizers and search for your long lost mother. For well, the pros and cons of Rebel Transmute, pros, nostalgic mechanics, upgrades for fans of Metroid and Hollow Knight, complex gameplay with challenging bosses, interesting story with a personal touch, and side quests to keep the gameplay fresh. Cons, it lacks some clear directions that can be very frustrating, the main gun feels very weak until upgraded, backtracking can be very tedious, and high difficulty level may limit the audience. For the verdict of Rebel Transmute, after playing the game and examining the entire thing, and seeing how it has a solid stand here of how it uses the certain mechanics as I mentioned with Metroid and Hollow Knight, the game perfectly blends nostalgia and fresh mechanics together, which keeps the gameplay interesting. But at the same time, the compelling story and with the personal touch that connects the player to the game's protagonist. However, the lack of clear directions and high difficulty level can frustrate some players. Overall, Rebel Transmute is a good game and worth checking out for those fan of the Genre, but it may appeal to some due to its high difficulty level and lack of clear directions. Rebel Transmute gets a rating of recommended, but I advise wait for a sale for this game. But thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.